The new Greenville update is out, so let me show you. First place I'll go is the limited vehicles. Going to the dealership, this time there's four of them. Genuinely some really good limiteds this update, but the best one to me might actually be this. The 1966 Ford Mustang Barn Find coming in at $13,585. It's one of the cheapest limiteds to hit Greenville ever. As the name says, it's a barn find, the first ever real barn find in GV which packs some killer details. Kind of a beater, but it's not. The specs tab shows a whopping 218 horsepower, a 126 mile per hour top speed, and 13 mpg, which is higher than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. Getting it out here to take a closer look in a barn, this time by the way, particularly fitting for this thing. First thing to note, it's dirty. And no, it's not because I drove it here like a madman, it just genuinely looks like this. Definitely looks like it has sat in this barn for many years, maybe even decades. Tires are in oddly great shape though. Other details include a bit of faded paint all around, which is really cool actually. I can't recall any other car in Roblox I've seen that has textures that look as legit as these do. Plenty of rust consuming the car all around. Some parts are literal just solid rust, like the mirrors and the rear window trim. A few things are missing as well, no headlight, just a bulb dangling, much like the rear bumper. Same goes for the other sided taillight too. Alright, it's time to start it up. I made sure this thing sounded horrible when I did these sounds, so let's take a listen. Barely wants to start or stay running either, as you can hear in the idle every few seconds. And for those wondering, sadly the rev isn't really anything special. The second limited vehicle is the legendary 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona, costing a whopping $895,000. Don't let the age fool you, this car is no slouch, 211 mile per hour top speed. Up close, this thing is absolutely crazy looking, displaying the 88 number proud all over the car, including on the pop-ups. Tons of details have been put into this thing, all you've got to do is take one glance at the hood. Lots of badging all over it, 426CI on either side of the hood, and some sponsors on the left fender, including Next Stop and Dr. Hunter. Going to the back, of course, can't miss it. The craziest thing is the absolutely massive wing, which gives this car a presence like no other. It's also got the sounds to match the looks. Speed to match the looks, of course, too. Another very, very cool limited vehicle is the 03 BMW M3 CSL, a lightened and more powerful version of the regular M3, particularly for the European market. In game, it goes for $82,955. In addition to these, the normal M3 received a long awaited, at least for myself, remodel alongside the addition of the 330CI trim. And the fourth gen and final vehicle for this update is the 2018 Ram SRT 1750 with a whopping 1776 BHP. This truck is absolutely wild. A twin-charged, supercharged, and turbo Viper V10 in a 4th gen RAM. Especially cool touch, you can't get this thing in the dealership with any boring colors. Other than black, all the color choices are pretty in your face. If you want to see more of this thing, I did a full drive on it in my previous video covering all the new 2018 RAMs. In addition to the limited vehicles, as you'd expect, plenty more vehicles have been added too. 31 this time! Some highlights include the first generation Acura NSX, all the 2018 Rams, a new fictional supercar for $1.9 million, the new Prius everyone seems to love, the C8 Corvette E-Ray, the CT5V Blackwing, a remodel of the Yugo, now with higher top speeds, unfortunately, a remodel of the 2017 Nissan GTR, along with the newly added 2009 GTR, and a fictional 1994 Western Motors Mamba. I actually think it's pretty neat. In the backstory that was made up for the Western Company, they had a partnership with Volkswagen back in the 90s, and this is one of the cars that came out of it, as it's basically a slightly redesigned Mark III Jetta with pop-up headlights. Stepping outside into the cold, wait, wait a minute, it, it isn't even cold anymore, the snow has already melted. Well, I guess it's time for my seasonal transition edits.
Winter being gone isn't the only thing that changed in this update with the map though. The main road has been half repaved all the way from the Lakeville neighborhood to the edge of the map past the park. The intersection has also been entirely redone of course, which looks absolutely amazing, much smoother. Brand new traffic lights too. Not too much to say on the new road, but it's a nice change. Definitely freshens up the area a bit when you come over to the side. I also like that they've changed the road color and made the redo noticeable. Rather than just a game update, it also sort of feels like a real change to the town roleplay wise. Plus, lane sizing has shrunk, which I really like. Oversized roads in the game are overrated. <laughs> Makes it fun to try to keep bigger vehicles within the lanes, like this bus which barely fits. Two buildings were redone, which I haven't properly seen up close yet, so let's go check them out. Going to the clinic here. Ooh, they redid the parking lot and everything now. You gotta turn around it. Yeah, definitely nice, for sure. This has been in the game since GB3 with, I think, virtually no updates ever. The way the parking lot wraps around is really cool. Slightly yeah. bigger parking spaces. Yeah, it's interesting how they kind of V out there. All right, here, uh, give me a tiny bit of a tour here if you know what's going on, because I haven't seen this at all yet. Okay, well, there's actually a few side doors here. So this is obviously the um, ambulance side door. So the ambulance pulls up in here, and they can either go straight here to Ooh. some clinic rooms in there. Fancy. Or straight over here to the emergency room. So the actual main entrance is a side door right here. I like it. The lounge has a few seats. There's nine seats here, uh, four seats here, three, three, and three. They actually added the GV logo to this car in here. And we got some uh, chairs here, some phones, printer. Fox Mountain Medical Center. Would you like to go to the normal rooms first or the, sure. the emergency room? This is really okay. fancy, though. It's a crazy upgrade. I like these lights up here. Oh, yeah, that's know? interesting. Yeah, the guy oh! oh, my gosh. Oh, are you okay? Oh! Oh, <laughs> it's fine, dude. We're at the hospital. Go get you checked right. out here. So there's a waiting room outside the waiting room right here. So this is another side door. Where the heck did you go? Oh, the parking lot's now extended. Here are all the rooms. They're pretty basic. Not too crazy. It's still pretty detailed, though. It's a lot yeah. more detailed than the last one. You got the hospital bed here, too. You can just press this blue button right here by the entrance. You have to press it. So yeah, the room lights up. Oh, okay. But, so that's yeah, actually only, cool. Only, Sony needs attention. You can server. press this. Yeah, only the private server owners can do it though. So it doesn't work in public servers. Thanks Timber for the fire alarm. It's pretty much just like it's no difference there. Yeah, the staff room is like a teacher's lounge, if you would call it that. Gotta call staff. Staff! These rooms are pretty much the same, like this room is the same, but I believe this room oh, it's is. It's a little bit different cool. actually. They kinda rearranged it. How to wash your hands yeah, properly. Got all the steps. I'm gonna do some uh Greenville gaming here. Oh yeah. What do you got in the monitor there? I'm driving um, a 325CI right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to my meeting now. Just a main hallway, I guess you can call it. And the emergency yeah. room is over here. That's These rooms cool. are kind of different. Um, room five is about the same though. Every single room in this building is really detailed. I'm kind of impressed. I'll wait till I get to room six. Oh my gosh! The windows are curtained off too. And the thing is, people yeah. actually kind of do use this building in public service. I see a lot of people come here. Yeah. They're going to have a lot better roleplay experience now. Room 11 is just a single room. 7 is another double room here. Room 9 is the last one. Mm-hmm. And then we come out here, and now we're out of the emergency rooms, and we got some bathrooms here. So this is its own separate part of the building. That's really cool now. That's the new clinic. Looks great. Should we go ahead yeah, and yeah. drive over to the other new building? Forget. Oh, yeah, the bank. Credit union. What the heck? Divided highway? That is new. Something I never noticed. And new one-way sign right up there, too. Oh, here we are. This is a very long overdue building. I think this is one of the most dated buildings in the entire game. Hasn't been updated since, like, probably GV2, to be honest. Parking lot's a lot more spacious now. Yeah, a lot more room. I remember the spots here are pretty tight. Walk in here. Ooh, this is fancy. This is even better than the Fox Mountain Bank, which I thought was pretty detailed at the time. That place is just, it's too tight. Like, yeah, that's true. This it's is really, kind of really tight, tight, but it's pretty open still. And for it being not that farther of a drive from Fox Mountain, I'd rather go here. I've always went here anyway. I don't know why, but it's just like the better bank to go to. I think it was just generally cooler. It's the more popular one in real life too, is what Hunter told me. See here, this office. Ooh, this is fancy. Yeah, I like how it's like closed off with the glass. Like if someone's screaming at someone here, you can not hear it. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Imagine like sitting in the waiting room. Someone's just like. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just pull up right here, get your cash, you know, talk to the people. You can barely see through the glass. That is tinted to the max. Let's see this room here. What is this? Some pictures on the wall. Copy machine. Another printer. I guess two lunch tables here. Then the bathrooms. Are you pulling in through the uh, ATM? Yep, pulling up. All right, here, I'm gonna sit down. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I, uh... Anybody in there? I can't see, the windows are tinted. 
Yeah, I can't see you either. You literally have maximum window tint. Like, I can't see physically anything in there. See me now? Yeah, I do. I do. Yep. Uh, I'd like to withdraw some cash. Um, sir, there's a negative $500,000 balance in your account. Please don't do a neutral drop. Wow, that guy was yeah, hold on, wait. I'm coming back around. Hold on. I hear him again. Oh my gosh! That's it. I'm calling the cops. Well, I guess that's it for the new Moat and Castle Credit Union Building. This is a long-awaited redo of the bank. This was supposed to come a long time ago, but they redid it again. Oh, what? The? I guess the cops are here. This is the fastest I've ever seen the cops come. Boo! Ah! With the features in this update, two of the biggest things are the new interactive jobs. First of which being the Hunty's Pizza Palace worker to coincide with the recently refreshed building. The local pizza joint needs some workers. Let's help them out. Make slash deliver some pizzas and bring entertainment to the guests. Claim a pizza box to deliver at Hunty's, then go on a journey to the customer's door to deliver the pizza. All right, so I'm um, here at Hunty's. You actually spawn here now, which is pretty helpful. I'm sure for players who don't know where Hunty's is. Let's see, what do we have for job cards here? I'm actually kind of interested to see. Oh, we got a couple. Wow, we got a lot of them. Ooh. Oh, we got like a beater CRV. This is sick. I think I was literally just thinking of a beater CRV for GB would be really cool. Here it is. Rusted out lift gate. Got the spare wheel with the hubcap falling off. Hubcap's falling off this front wheel. Bunch of scratches everywhere. Faded headlights galore. Replacement fender. Of course, hunties right there on the top. Does this thing sound like Silas the Civic? It's the only good way. Ah, dang it. Even though the muffler is rusted out, it still sounds normal. All right, let's go deliver some pizzas here with this thing. I haven't even checked out the other Hunties delivery vehicles, but I already know this is the best one. All right, I don't really know how to take calls to get my pizzas delivered and everything. So I'm just gonna go back into the building and hopefully I can figure it out. Where am I supposed to go here? Oh, oh, okay. All right, delivery job. Head to the marked location, deliver the pizza. I can see it right there in the distance. Hopping in the CRV. Let's deliver some pizzas. I was not expecting the CRV to be in the game at all. It's not in the dealership. You cannot buy this as a normal vehicle. So this is an exclusive Hunty's Pizza vehicle, basically. Uh, it's at the apartments. I'm gonna have to do some off-roading here. Let's beat the CRV up. Uh, I didn't mean to go down to zero, but I was gonna say let's beat the CRV up more than it already is. How about a ramp? Will this thing take ramps well? Getting into fourth gear. Let's bang it into fifth. Oh! That was not very much air. Oh, what the heck? I'm actually supposed to deliver. Oh, I thought it was gonna be just like a taxi job or maybe like uh, Bloxburg where it was just like on the sidewalk or whatever, you know, you just park right next to them and give it to them. But no, I actually have to walk up here. It's a subtle difference, but it's all the better. Take out my pizza box. Um, I don't know what I do here. The update's still new, so there's still bugs and everything, but apparently somebody's supposed to come to the door. I just rejoined and I'm gonna see if I can deliver this pizza properly. I don't mind the spring map at all with the new clouds. It really does change it. Oh my gosh, I almost just crashed this car right into a pole. Come on, CRV, you can do this. Make it to the delivery spot without breaking down on me. I'm redlining this thing. They want their pizza right over there. Is that the park or is that a house? Okay, I think that's a house over there. Ugh. Ugh. The homeowners did not just see that. Hello, here's your pizza. Deliver pizza, okay. Are they coming out? Oh, finally, thanks. Here you go, oh, my money! I really wasn't expecting it to be much different than the taxi job, but this is actually significantly different. Okay, show route back to Hunty's Pizza Palace? Yes. Do I really have to drive all the way back over there? Can I just cheat the system and spawn back over there? I guess I can. Okay, I have to go back over there. I'm gonna deliver this pizza, then I'm gonna check out the other cars, because there's a couple of them. Top side at 111. Oh, shoot, there's a fence here. I'm gonna have to go around this. Oh, not into the tree, please. Oh, technically didn't crash it, only ran into a ditch. Also, the center median is kind of gone in some places. It's here still there, which is a lot bigger than before. Really nice, but some of it's turned to grass. It's becoming nighttime. Oh, there's a sign there. Please don't be anybody outside their house to see this. Oh. Nothing weird going on here. Hello? Oh, it's me! What, what the heck? My clone's taking my pizza, all right. I guess I have good taste in delivery services. Oh, look, there's a plane going by. It's actually really cool looking with the clouds. All right, I'm gonna head back to Hunty's, teleport back there, and let's take a look at the other cars. 2007 Camry, man oh man. What's special about this? Oh, this is a bit different. It's like raised up a little bit. I think it's slightly squatted, if you look. It's got a dent in the back. <laughs> so it like scratches on the side of it. This is not a normal trim, by the way. You can't buy this on a normal one. Hunty special right here. It's got a bit of a wobble to it. Something suspension's kind of going out, I think. All right, where's my delivery place at? Oh, it's over there. I have something different this time. 
take a shortcut. They just call this the um, Hunty's Pizza Delivery Lane. I have an exemption. Making sure all these trees get out of my way, they know I'm coming through. Oh, oh, oh! oh, it's a lake house person. They must be ordering some kind of fancy pizza here if they can afford this thing. Talk about a perfect parking job right there. Here is your pizza. Hello? See the customer this time. Is it me again? Oh, it is me again. Great taste in pizza, sir. What is the next vehicle here that I'll drive back in? I'm just gonna trade this in. I think myself has my other Hunty's car in the garage. 2013 Impala. I don't know. If... Oh, wait, there is stuff special with this. They're all like kind of beat up, I think. So the paint is not the best on this one. It's kind of fading a bit here. Roof too. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if there's anything else different about this one. Just the paint, I think. Oh, no, there's a slight dent in the bumper, too. Oh, is the headlight fogged up a little bit, too? Huh. Might need some toothpaste for that. Ooh, this thing's speedy. This might be the fastest Hunty's car. Let's do a zero to 60 test on this thing. Get on flat ground here so it's fair. Traction control off. Oh, my gosh. Can't even shift in time. It's still that fast. What's the top at? 145? Heading straight for Hunty's. Oh! And I just popped like all my tires. Next one, the 2003 Corolla. What the heck are these headlights? <laughs> it's not even faded, it's just blurred. It's like I need glasses to read my headlights. The other side is about as bad. Bumper is fully dented up too. They did well on these Hunty's cars. Who has ordered my special Hunty's pizza delivery this time? They paid for extra speedy delivery. Oh, it's somebody right here on the corner. I'm gonna actually pull up nicely this time. Just kidding. Hello? Please don't be me again. Oh, it's not. It's typical dad, basically. What took you so long? Thanks. I didn't even take that long. What are you talking about? I was full sending. I was going like 120. Back to Hunty's. Last pizza, last car. 2003 Escape. The plastic's down here, quite scratched. Just scratch plastic, nothing too intense, I don't think, on this one. Oh wait, actually, I just noticed, two dents. One right here on the front fender, and one on the back. Last pizza, let's see who we are delivering to this time. Oh, here's the person! Oh my gosh! I didn't realize it was that close. Hopefully you don't have security cameras. Here you go, oh my money. Don't mind if I do, I guess. That is the Hunty's Pizza Palace delivery job. I'm very impressed with all the vehicles they have. I didn't think it was gonna be anything too special compared to the taxi job, but there's actually quite a bit of stuff changed, and these vehicles are just a cherry on top. Second new interactive job is the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Just over 13 months ago, we got this job and the tow truck, and now we're getting some true interactability with it. Give assistance to customers around the roadways and make sure the traffic flows smoothly. With the interactive job, claim calls for cars being parked for too long in parking lots. You will have to go to the car to pick it up and drop it back off at the DOT lot. There's a real impound lot, I guess. One free call, show call. Drive to the marked location. I could take out my tow truck, but I've got a C8 right here. I think this is a better choice. I think I'll get there slightly faster. Where is it? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. How far away is it? Is it in the lake parking lot? I should probably turn on traction control. Yes, it is. I think I see it. Wait, never mind. It's not here. Oh, it's over here at the new Cynix. Let me just uh, go behind the building here and spawn on my tow truck. Here it is. With this job, you get to use the tow truck for free rather than having to buy it, which is nice. Though, if you still want to, both trims remain on sale for personal uses, actually. Here is the Tundra. All you need to do is you need to back up, then get somewhat close to it, open the tow controls, put the bed down. Apparently, I don't have enough room. Back it up more directly here. Put the bed down, hop out. Then I press the tow button, and I guess I'm too far still. All right, let me get out. Yes, all right. For those wondering, which I kind of wondered myself, what happens if you try to tow a vehicle that you didn't claim? Because for me, I had to claim that Tundra there. If I try to tow it, it just has a red box around it. I can't tow it. This is absolutely ruining my bed, I'm sure. But, all right, here we go. Is this good enough to pick up the Tundra? Nope. I gotta be perfectly parked to get this thing. All right, please, okay, yes. Click on it, put the bed back up. Tundra is safe and secure. Let me strap it down real quick. Straps down all the wheels. Now I feel like all those towing YouTubers. Drop over here. All right, so I gotta drive all that way back. This will take a while. Finally approaching the tow yard here. I guess it's just right here in front of the garage. Back it in, release the car. Okay. 
release. And boom, I get $110. That might be one of the best ways to make money in the game now. You can drive around, earn money that way, and still make money doing something else too. So that's the tow truck job. Another pretty major update was that a tutorial was finally added for new players. 100% gonna make things less confusing for first time players. I can definitely see how some people might get lost and potentially give up on the game and never play again. Trying out the tutorial for myself here, let's see how it is. I hope I don't have the infinite loading bug, which is currently ongoing. This would not be a good first time playing GB. Yeah, this is never gonna load, I'm gonna rejoin. Okay, I made it in. Gonna press play, uh, what does it do? Yeah, it seems like there's a bug where it doesn't work right now. Update's still new, so they're working on it. That was a fail. Something else that'll help new players, albeit a small change, is that gas pumps and EV chargers now have a pop-up to use them when you're close. Before, you just kind of had to know to click somewhere on them with no real instruction, which I'm sure is quite confusing for many new players. Since we're kind of already there, time to move on to the miscellaneous updates. There's quite a few smaller things that were included this time, such as optional camera sway. This shakes your camera more and more as you increase your driving speed, actually adding some sense of going fast. I think it truly works better for its intended purpose than most racing games with motion blur. It genuinely adds a bit of depth going faster. Also, you can increase the intensity of it, depending on how you like it, through the settings menu, going all the way from subtle up to nauseating. Two other settings were added to this menu as well, car dealership music on and off, finally, very useful at certain times in my opinion, and kickdown mode, where it kicks down your gears when you double tap W for sportier driving, with the options of enabled, disabled, accelerator only, or downshift only. When you get out or get in your car, door sounds play. Super sick. Something that wasn't even mentioned in the change logs, Factory colors are finally able to be chosen in the paint shop. No more will you need to repurchase your favorite car to get it back to the perfect color. So helpful. If using dynamic gauges with a map displayed and have a route set through your GBOS phone, the path will light up blue on your gauges. No more distracted driving. Two new houses were added next to the sidelines prop restaurant by McDonald's, similar to how it is in real life. This area is actually quite nice overall now with the stuff they recently added, including the freshly redone Credit Union. Randomized plates are finally in the dealership. Uh, I mean, the DMV. This is gonna be so helpful. No more will you have to think up random regular plate numbers until you find something that sounds decent or spam your keyboard and attempt to submit it until it finally passes the Roblox filter when all you want to do is change the plate design. Uh, anyway, all you do is go to this button and put random text, yes or no. And the code of some things were rewritten to make things more efficient, such as the traffic light system, handcuffs, and TVs and houses. And yeah, that's the update. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the spring map. That was the, I think, shortest winter season in Greenville ever. Only a little over two months since the players hate winter after like two weeks in game for some reason. Back to the spring map for seven more months at least. First time we've had the spring map with the new skybox though, so it's still pretty cool. Has a brand new look and it's fresh again for the time being. Tried to make this update review a little shorter than usual, but kind of failed, particularly because of my 30 minute RAM review from two days ago. Maybe check that video out next if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Spring has sprung.